When it comes to hospitals, collaboration is essential for success. These men understood this and started the Dallas Hospital Council. Informal, sure, but it was the start of something that would be essential to everyone's success. With the seed of the idea continuing to grow, the first annual awards luncheon held in 1948 soon turned into the second, and the third, and so on. The care of the patient is always priority number one, and that's the same today as it was then. The Distinguished Health Service Award, a virtual who's who list of recipients. In 1968, Bill Mays joins the council as the first paid executive. Bill led the opening of the council's first office and carried the tradition well into the 70s. Bill Mays was instrumental in what the Hospital Council is today. He mentored young CEOs, he gave encouragement to the existing CEOs, and we can thank Bill Mays for what healthcare in North Texas has become. Bill stepped down in 1975 and John Gavris stepped in. Through John's tireless work, a new headquarters was established, along with a historic transformation. On January 9, 1978, the Dallas Hospital Council officially included Fort Worth hospitals. Collaboration was already happening. Why not include all member hospitals? The board chairman represents the hospital trustees and they do so much. They give so much resources and time to the hospital. We use the platform of the Dallas-Fort Worth Hospital Council to honor those trustees and board chairman. We have all of the trustees, we have the CEOs, uh, management of the hospital, we have nursing uh, personnel, we have physicians, we have department heads, we have employees of the hospital, we have government officials, we have city leaders. They're all under one roof. First, Linda Ellaby. To me, she was so sincere and spoke from the heart because she described her time as a patient in a hospital and the care that she received and how much she appreciated, especially the nursing care she received. That was the largest audience we've ever had, 1,450 people. And what I I can tell you about that particular meeting, Margaret Thatcher telling her uh, philosophy that related to hospitals and any organization that exists. And that is, if you've got a message, preach it. And if you preach it, they believe it, and they live it, and they're optimistic about it, then ask them to come with you and go forward. That was her philosophy in politics, and it transferred to all who attended the luncheon. In 1977, Mr. Boone Powell Sr. was honored for his 45 years of work at Baylor University Medical Center. It seemed only fitting that we continued the tradition with other longtime healthcare CEOs who have made a significant contribution to the hospital they serve. And then, in 2005, we decided to award those who would soon lead us into the future of North Texas healthcare. 
You know, that was a special day. Uh, obviously, I was excited. It was my first uh, annual awards luncheon as the president and CEO of the DFW Hospital Council. But it was a very emotional day for John. You know, after 31 years of giving what I call sweat equity uh, into this organization. I had a I had very mixed emotions that whole day. I, I never had it before in any luncheon, but that day I did. As I looked out and saw all of the hospital employees, and many of them, I guess I knew for 25, 30 years, I looked at them and as we were concluding that particular meeting, I found myself thinking, I wish this luncheon would never end. Steve Love would carry on the proud tradition of the annual awards luncheon. The luncheon's presidential debates began under his tenure. Ladies and gentlemen, the annual awards luncheon continues, honoring those who have dedicated their lives to the belief that better health makes a better North Texas. Happy birthday to a part of North Texas history, and welcome to the Dallas-Fort Worth Hospital Council 70th Annual Awards Luncheon.